I fell down the blooming stairs. Put my hoodie on backwards. So that's where I'm at right now. Mentally. In life. Alright guys, this is breakfast. I just have some Ezekiel bread that I toasted and then I put some <clears throat> organic peanut butter on then some banana slices, chia seeds, and then agave. And I call this chiave toast. If you've been watching my blog for a while, or you've been watching my channel for a while, you have seen me make this numerous times. I love it. It's definitely a, a very filling breakfast, so if you're not very hungry, don't try it. But if you're starving, Marvin, you better eat it. Audrey doesn't like it. Yeah, I do. You like Chiave toast? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that you like him. I do. I would have made it for you. I didn't want it. Oh. Well, there you go. Audrey just had toast with jelly and butter. Vegan butter, right? I feel like you don't have to say that. I oh. feel like maybe I do need do to. Good morning, bedheads. So I know it's Sunday and I should be at church right now. But today was just a right disaster. Just one after the other. So I cut my bangs like just a tad because they were getting too long to be straight across anymore. They were like straight up over my eyes. Um, so I just trimmed a little bit right here so that I could swoop them to the side. But you know how like when you cut your hair you have to like play with it for a little while to like get the right look that you want. But I just like trimmed a little bit because I want to grow them out. So I don't want to keep cutting them across even though I love them. I just feel like I want something new again. Right after New Year's I'm going to cut the length of my hair. So... I want long bangs when I do that. Anyway, so I cut my bangs. I fell down the blooming stairs. So we have these stairs. I don't know if you can see. Back there, these are stairs that go up to our loft. And uh, I <laughs> ran upstairs. <laughs> I forgot. What, oh yeah, I was putting another shirt on because I'm freezing. So I like changed, put a, put layers on. And I was coming back down and I had my socks on and I slipped and I literally just like threw it, like flew up and then smacked down like on my back. I was just laying on the floor on my back and I, Audrey was standing next to the stairs at the time. And so when I fell, I like put my hands up like that and when I did that, I like punched Audrey in the face. So I punched her in the face, or her glasses fly behind her, and I just land, and my feet like hit the door. So it, my foot hurt like really bad, and my thumb, I'm, I'm like bleeding, but I put a bandaid on. So my thumb was bleeding because it like raked Audrey's glasses off. I literally like hit her in the nose, like punched Audrey in the nose, and then knocked her glasses off. So that like cut my thumb, and other than that it didn't really hurt at all which I'm like so shocked I was like wow I have like really good like bounce back like I I don't know like didn't hurt at all which is so weird except for my thumb my thumb hurt pretty bad and my foot hurt like the instant I hit the door but like other than that like my back doesn't hurt my butt doesn't hurt um so that was surprising I'm like surprised I'm not in a wheelchair right now, to be honest. I'm surprised also I didn't hit like the back of my head on the stairs. That was <laughs> shocking. But Audrey automatically, like, so I like, hit the ground and Audrey just climbs on top of me, bear hugs me while I'm on the floor. Instant just like crying, laughing. So, I couldn't believe that that had just happened. Because we talk about all the time, oh, we're just waiting for the day for us to fall down the stairs. What do you think about my bangs? I like made them a little choppy. I feel like I need to cut this piece a little shorter, huh? But I don't want to cut the length at all. I don't know. I need my sister here. She's my hairdresser. Also, my hair is so used to being split down the middle because I've had it split down the middle since like 8th grade. Like that is its natural part. 
but like I ain't walking around with my hair like this but that's like what it wants to do all the time I wonder if my neighbors are like watching me right now like in friends you know how they always see like ugly naked guy or whatever or in that movie Disturbia how he just like I think it's a what it's called is it Disturbia or is Disturbia the one with like the wife I can't remember but like see I can see in my in everyone's apartments like over here it's blooming creepy I can just like see everybody hanging out me and Audrey have seen a couple of naked people um in our time here just you know we have the window open we're looking around there's just like naked people hanging out in the window and I always catch myself changing down here and I'm like oh my god Bethany you need to remember to to close the blinds but I always remember like as I'm naked I don't want to walk closer to the window to close it now because I'm already naked so I just you know hope and pray that no one's watching me so this is my setup right now I have like all of my flashcards and everything literally everywhere but I was gonna say how many of you guys I want to know in the comment section how many of you guys have really good handwriting and how many of you guys have just awful handwriting I have world's worst handwriting you can barely actually this isn't even that bad like sometimes it's bad but my best friend Morgan has super good handwriting so I'm always comparing my handwriting to hers but hers is just literally phenomenal like unreal and I just have rubbish handwriting. No one in my family has good handwriting except for my mom. She's the only one. But my grandma has crazy good handwriting. Like, both my grandmas have crazy good handwriting. My dad, me, Audrey, and Cassie all have super terrible handwriting. And I want to know, like, is it because we just don't care enough to, like, take our times? Like, we... All of us write super fast except for my mom which has good handwriting and Morgan who also writes really really well she takes her sweet time writing anything like even if it's notes in a class she's just like taking her sweet time like writing making sure it like looks good and I will literally just like I'll like write the first three letters and then the last like four or whatever are just like barely lines I wonder if it's actually something to do with your brain or if it's something more to do with just how much you care or personality I don't know I wonder maybe I should look that up why people have good handwriting let's do that let's look that up study finds more than 5,000 personality traits are linked to how we write people who write letters close together are intrusive and crowd others illegible signatures mean a person is private and difficult to understand words are sentences that Words or sentences that vary to the rest of the text suggest it is a lie. Schizophrenia and high blood pressure can also be identified from writing. What? Um, spacing between words. Is this interesting, guys, or is this so not interesting? I think it's interesting. It says there's wide spacing in between words. You enjoy your freedom and don't like to be overwhelmed or crowded. Narrow spacing. You can't stand to be alone. You tend to crowd people and be intrusive. I am very intrusive, but I feel like I have pretty decent like spacing in my like between my words. What do you guys think? I think there's like a pretty good size space there, so I think that's wrong. They're wrong. I crowd the crap out of people. Audrey will be a testament to that. Um, narrow L loops. You may be restricting yourself, which could lead to feelings of tension. Wide L loops. You're relaxed and spontaneous. Self-expression comes easily to you. Well, my L's don't loop. Mine's just a line, so that doesn't tell me anything. Narrow E loops. You tend to be skeptical of others. You tend not to be swayed by other by the emotions of others. That's definitely true, and I have super narrow. Sometimes it looks like I'm writing a C. Like, there's my E loops. So that's those are my E's. Super narrow loops. And I definitely am never swayed by other people's emotions. Um, and I'm super skeptic of everyone. Wide E loops, you are open minded and enjoy trying new experiences. But that's also me, so like, this is still kind of wrong. Mm -hmm. Dotting your eyes. High over the eye, you have a great imagination. So if it's like high. Um, to the left of the eye, you tend to be a procrastinator. Slashing your eyes, doing like a line instead of a dot. Overly self-critical, don't have a lot of patience 
for inadequacy or people that don't learn from your mistakes. Circle your eyes, visionary childlike. My mom and my older sister circled their eyes, like did a circle instead of a dot for so long. Um, so they're visionary and childlike, and that's very true for both of them. They're both very like, ha 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 um, If it's like right perfectly over the eye, you are detail-oriented, organized, and empathetic in what you say or do. And that's Morgan, and that's very true for Morgan. Circle, oh wait, that's everything. Wait, so what do I do? Do I have an eye in this? Mine is right over it. Uh, maybe actually mine's a slash instead of a dot. <laughs> but I'm not self-critical. That self-critical. Crossing your T's. Very top of the T. You are ambitious, optimistic, and have good self-esteem. Right in the middle, you are confident and feel comfortable in your own skin. If you if it's a short cross, and you tend to be lazy and show lack of determination. If it's a, a long cross... You are very determined and enthusiastic. However, you tend to be stubborn and have a hard time letting things go. I'm right in the middle, so I'm confident and feel comfortable in my own skin. True. It's longer, so you are very determined and enthusiastic. However, you tend to be stubborn and have a hard time letting things go. I don't have a hard time letting things go, but I'm pretty stubborn and determined and enthusiastic. I feel very much so. But that's my tea right there. This is fun, guys. Is this fun for you? I love, like, doing these kinds of things. Your O. Rounded letters. You are creative and artistic. If you have, like, very pointed, jagged lines, you are more aggressive, intensive, very intelligent, and curious. That's Audrey. She has crazy, like, pointed. Everything is, like, pointy. Um, and that's... She's pretty aggressive, intense, very intelligent, and very curious. That is, like, Audrey to a T. Connected letters, that is me 100% every, even if it's not, I'm like not writing it in cursive, it's regular hand, it's print, but it's all connected. Um, you are logical, systematic, and make decisions carefully. I feel like that's pretty accurate. If you round lowercase cursive S, I don't do that. Um, people pleaser and tend to avoid confrontation. Not me at all, that's like the opposite of me. Pointy lowercase cursive S, I feel like that's more so me. Um, you enjoy learning new things. You are inquisitive and ambitious. The higher and pointier the peaks, the more ambitious you are. Wide towards the bottom, so it's like a fat S. You might not be following your heart in your career or other pursuits. But it's like, how does this know? Is this all a lie? If you write very heavy and thick or if you write very light, so pressure. Heavy pressure, you are good with commitment and taking things seriously. If the pressure is excessively heavy, you tend to be uptight and can react quickly to criticism. I feel like I'm in between. Light pressure. You are sensitive and show an empathy to people you have. You also have lack of vitality. I'm not sure which one I am on that. Speed. You write quickly. You are impatient, dislike delays, or time wasters. 100% me, and I write super fast. If you write slowly, you are more organized, methodical, and self-reliant. That's my mom. Your signature! If it's not legible, mine has like missing letters. Like I don't even spell my last name right when I'm signing my name. I sign it E-S-T instead of E-A-S-T. Um, if it's not legible, you are very private, hard to read or understand. I feel like I'm pretty out there. <laughs> legible, you are confident and comfortable in your own skin. You don't need to pretend you're something you're not. I think that one's wrong. <laughs> Size. You are outgoing, people-oriented, outspoken, and love attention. This can also mean that you put up a front and pretend to have a lot of confidence. I don't write very large at all, but that's Morgan, so. You faking it, Morgan? Small letters. Um, you are shy or withdrawn, studious and concentrated, and meticulous. I don't know anyone who writes that small. Actually, a lot of boys write really small. Average. I feel like I'm pretty average. You are well-adjusted and adaptable. I'm not saying I 100% believe it in this stuff, but it's kind of like fun to look at. <laughs> Even just like thinking about it, I can't because I'll just. Oh my gosh!
second time Bethany's fallen up the stairs, down the stairs in New York. No? Oh, yeah. The first time I was in the subway. <laughs> I was running up the stairs and I tripped and in flat out fell in on like top a, of the in like a group of people, so like a rush, like rush hour, just like completely fell oh, up just the stairs. Fell. I was trying to catch my train. All right, on that note, we are going to say goodnight. I'm yep. sorry the vlog was a little bit weird today. I have been studying so much, but school, my last day of school is on Thursday, and uh, vlogs will be better. I hope and pray then. Okay. I love you guys and have a great night, bedheads. Mm.